what's going on youtubers thanks for clicking on the video uh getting ready to kick off the official fall 2021 hunting season i'm currently sitting outside the nebraska game and parks commission in kearney nebraska i hope you find this video full of information helpful tips and at the very least entertaining so hope you like it enough to smash that like button <clears throat> and hopefully enough to hit the subscribe button also um, one of the first tips i'll give you the reason why i'm sitting outside in the nebraska game and parks commission is in nebraska you cannot buy your deer tags at walmart the only place you can get them is online and print them off yourself or at the nebraska game and parks commission offices <clears throat> and they're not around every corner so i missed this location by about two minutes last night they were already closed when i got here so i stayed the night in Kearney. i got about 10 minutes before they open <clears throat> i'll grab my license and then i'll head a couple hours north of here and we'll start off the 2021 season with a spot and stock mule deer hunt so We'll catch you here in a few minutes up at the camp. All right, I just pulled into the public ground I'm going to be hunting. I've hunted this place four different times now, and I'm running a 50% success in this area. I've gotten two out of the four years I've tagged filled my tag in here so uh, on my way here i haven't seen any deer yet but i have seen plenty of turkeys out more than i've ever seen um, my tag is good for white tail and mule deer and either sex so i'm mainly going to go out get through this wooded area and then i'm going to get out into the sand hills and i'm just going to mainly concentrate on mule deer i got plenty of whitetails i can shoot back home in iowa so it'll take us just a little bit to drive through here and get to where i'm going to camp for the week and i'm looking forward to it starting to get pretty excited it's been pretty warm out here and uh yesterday i believe it was they had a cold front come through they got some rain i see puddles in the road and uh right now it is only 57 degrees out so it's supposed to be nice and cool all week so i think hopefully that'll have the deer up and moving and i'm hoping for some good luck so a little bit we'll be back we'll be to the campsite yeah, if you ever want any target practice while you're out here too, they've always got plenty of prairie dog towns out here. Yep, got camp all set up. Uh, it is 12.30. I'm going to take a couple shots with the bow and then uh, have a little snack and then I'm going to head out in the hills and start glassing. You see, I got a nice little target range set out there right now the targets at 60 yards that's about my max range so I'm going to take a couple shots with it and we're going to head out Those were looking pretty good. Well, cutting tracks. All right. I hiked in roughly two miles, and I've got a nice tall hill here. I'm just on the well, kind of on the side wind side of it, not on the very top, so I've got a backdrop, so I'm not silhouetted against the skyline, but uh, 
I've got a good vantage point here to watch big section of ground to the east of me and then to the north and to the north I've got a row of old pines and other trees which I think would be a good bedding area so I'm just gonna sit up here for the tonight for the first night and uh, just glass and see if I see anything moving you know and if I do I'm in perfect position, you know, wind-wise, to make a play on them. I'll show you the area. There's all those trees. And they could very well pop right out in front of me. And I've got all that. Windmill down there. So we'll just wait it out, watch and see if we see anything moving tonight. All right, already got uh, four mule deer spotted right over that top of that gold tree. With the, and then to the right a little bit, there's one dark green pine or brush. They're right out there by that. They should be right there just above that tree. I don't know if you can see the corner of the fence post, but they're coming right up to the corner of that fence post. Really can't tell. Kind of all look like does right now, but give you a how idea of how far away we're spotting them. That's all the way zoomed in. And this is where I'm at, so... It only take about 10-15 minutes to get to them, but just above that treetop, just saw one bed down in that. I don't know if it's one of them out of that first four I saw, or if it's a totally different one, so just need to keep an eye on that spot now. Yeah, I think with the cattle moving in there, if that one is still bedded just above the treetops, <coughs> he'd be getting up and moving, so... He might have snuck out of there without me seeing him. All right, there he is. He's getting up. I think it's just a doe, though. Looks like a doe. Hopefully she comes this way right at the base of that cedar tree <clears throat> and I'm not so sure that might not be a buck it's really hard to tell at that distance but it almost looks like he might be a tall fork a second one there that came out following the first one just to the left of that cedar tree if you can make it out I think where they were bedded in that stubble patch, I think that would have been a really good doable stalk, so. Probably should have went after them. Yeah, I don't know if you can be able to see them or not, but there's two mule deer right out there. Uh, where that washout is, if you look right up on that hill that has like a sharp knoll, on the right, there's one right on the corner, and then one to the left of that a, a little ways. So, don't know if you can pick them out that far away. Well, it's, sun's starting to get ready to go down. All I'm seeing out here tonight is one's way to the north. So I'm gonna slowly start working my way back to camp and uh, glass and check out the areas in between here and camp in see if we can't stumble on something closer to camp so but other than that I think that's gonna be it for the night well that's the first for me finding a shed out here it's like a probably a small eight point white tail but
She definitely knows we're here. All right, back at camp. <clears throat> Saw six to eight deer tonight. Overall, it was pretty good. First night, I was just kind of wanting to see what it was like. Out of the four years I've been here, this is only the second time I've been back in this area. And the first time I was back here was just one evening. So I'm going to give this spot a couple days and see what it produces. And then if not, I'll go to my old standby on the west side of the property and give that a shot. But right now I'm just getting ready for dinner. Nothing better than potato chips, Coke, Star Crunch, and a couple of venison steaks. So, can't beat it. <laughs> 